Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In today's video, I will be going over creating an asset on the Ravencoin testnet. Earlier today, the asset layer for Ravencoin has gone live on its Ravencoin testnet. The asset layer is expected to go live on the mainnet on October 31st, 2018. This gives ample time for the community to test, find, and report any bugs. Now, there's a really good article by Raven, Ravencoin developer Tron Black over here. And um, he goes over Ravencoin as an asset platform and the advantages it has over Ethereum's ERC-20. So um, he does list uh, four main advantages. And um, one is its assets will be easier to issue since it's based on smart contracts. Kind of reminds me of how the Waves platform has that uh, simplicity in creating tokens um, th and through the wallet of the Waves uh, platform wallet. And number two, Ravencoin has the ability to broadcast messages to all token holders that of the asset that you issue. So this is incredibly um, useful uh, if you want to let everyone know of upcoming events or specials related to your token. Uh, for example, if you issue a token to be used as a loyalty program reward. Um, number three, Ravencoin also allows voting uh, by token holders. Again, multiple uses for this feature, private governance or even public governance of an organization, business, or nonprofit. And then finally, the ability for asset token holders to be paid rewards or dividends. Pretty amazing stuff coming down the line for Ravencoin. And... Uh, you can read this article here. I'll put a, this link to the article in the description below so you can read more about it. First, we're going to go to the Ravencoin GitHub and phase 2 RIP-002. Um, as you can see, it was released, released two days ago. Um, I'll put a link to this in the description. And we're doing this on Windows. And I'm going to click here on the win64setup.exe and download it. Click Save. And while it's going, we're going to minimize this. Well, actually, I'm just going to click Run. And then I'm going to minimize this. Well, first click More Info and then Run in, run Anyway. Click Yes. And click Next. Next. And Next. Now, I do not suggest to run this test the testnet on on your main wallet um, you may want to run it on a separate computer or a virtual machine or um, just be sure that your wallet is not on the same directory at least at the minimum um, now they said you can run them together but personally I'd rather cite on precaution and you know just be cautious about it I, you know I just don't want to mix anything up just in case so let's click next here. So I'm actually running this on um, a separate virtual machine, separate from my main Ravencoin wallet. So I'm going to uncheck run Ravencore and then click finish. Now, if you're on Windows 10, you can see over here on the recently added Ravencore, Ravencore testnet, or if you type down in the search Raven, um, you can see. Uh, here we go. You have an option to do Ravencore or Ravencore testnet if you don't see it. So I'm going to select the Ravencore testnet. Now it's going to take some time to load and if um, download the blockchain, but I'm going to click hide in here. And then basically we got to let this sync. And while it's syncing, we're going to do some other things. So first, um, because this is a testnet wallet, you can see over here. The colors are green and purple. Uh, you'll see over here it says testnet and there's going to be zero Raven and asset activation status here is waiting. So what you want to do um, while this is syncing is to get some testnet coins. So first what we want to go want to go to first is go to file receiving address and let's create a new one. And I'm just going to call it testnet and click OK. And then let's over here, I'm going to right click and then copy address. 
Now, I'm going to open my notepad and it's going to paste this address over here because I'm going to need it later on. Okay, so I'm going to let this sync up to the blockchain and I'm going to be right back. Now, there's a couple ways that you can get um, testnet Ravencoin, but by far for me, the easiest way to do it is to actually get it from this faucet, testnet.ravencoin.network. Now, you are able to CPU mine and GPU mine Ravencoin on the testnet, but like I said, this is by far the easiest. So I'll put a link to this site in the description, and as you can see over here, you can see you can just paste your Ravencoin testnet address and click submit and as you can see here you can only submit it once per minute and you should get roughly 5,000 um, Ravencoin testnet Ravencoins. Now I believe uh, creating uh, assets on the Ravencoin network costs 500 Ravencoins so 5,000 is more than enough to you. Yeah, I mean you can basically create around 10 less than 10 because I believe after fees it will it won't be completely 5,000 so I have our address here click submit and then you see success and then you can click here and check the transaction and you can see this is the total Raven that should be coming to your wallet okay now that we got some Raven uh, testnet Raven coin let's go back to the wallet so here we are at the Raven coin wallet that is on the testnet as you can see over here I do have I got the 5,000 Raven coin from the faucet earlier now I do want to say that it did take a very long time for those coins to appear because um, it was well it is a test net, so there's not a lot of miners. There is a mining pool, and over here, as you can see, there's only one person mining on this pool. Um, I was mining on that pool for a while, uh, but uh, because I wanted to make this video, I had to stop because there's not enough uh, resources on the computer to do both. So just uh, keep in mind that um, even though you... Uh, see the transaction on the uh, from the faucet it will take a while for it to to uh, confirm and show up in your wallet so let's put that over here okay now here we are with the 5000 raven coin and with that we can actually now begin to create assets on the testnet so let's click on assets and over here you can see create asset and close that and managed own asset so over here there's nothing over here okay so let's go here to create asset and well, let's move this in the screen here so let's give this asset a name now um, each asset must be a min minimum of three characters long and must be unique so there can't be any asset on the block on the raven coin blockchain that has the same name so I'm just going to call it, uh, okay, well, let's try this, let's call it Bitcoin. And if we uh, go to check availability, you can see somebody's already created that on the, on the testnet, that asset. I'm going to call it, um, I'll just call it CE coin, crypto explorer coin check availability and it says valid asset I'm gonna put the quantity of 21 million and then over here it says the Raven address that will hold this asset and then he says you must own this address leave blank to create a new address so I'm just gonna leave this on blank I'm not sure what this custom change address does um, but I'm just going to uncheck it and here the in the units um, how many decimal places so I'm just gonna leave it here at 8 but as you can see you can shorten it to 2 but let's just put 8 now you can see over here where it says reissuable um, basically what reissuable means is the issuer can increase the supply anytime um, oh I'm assuming that's the case for uh, for this for Ravencoin because that's what it is for the waves platform so I'm gonna you can uncheck it 
or check it. I'm going to uncheck it so it's not reissuable. And over here, I'm not sure what this does, so I'll just leave it there. And then I'm going to click Create Asset. As you can see, to create an asset, it is 500 Raven to issue it. So click Yes. And then click OK. Now let me go to the overview and you can see that it's over here, the transaction. Um, it's deducted from my um, balance. And let's go to the transactions tab. You can see it was issued. And then under assets, let's go to manage owned assets. Oh, it's not there yet. So I, I'm assuming it still needs to confirm. So let's go under transactions. Yeah, it still needs to confirm. So let me pause this video. This will take a while to confirm because it is on the test net. So once it uh, finishes confirming, I will go back to the wallet. So the transaction confirmed, as you can see here in the overview section of the wallet. Um, the asset that I created, CE coin, is showing up, showing up here and with a quantity of 21 million. And over here, there's another one with the quantity of one and there's an exclamation mark here. I'm not too sure what that means. So um, let's go in further and just check up the transaction. You can see here um, it's confirmed. And you can see the transaction details. So, and this one. CE coin exclamation mark. So still not sure what that means, but let's go on to the assets section and click here, asset, um, managed own assets. So this is still not showing, I guess. Yeah, interesting. Um, of course, this is still in the early um, development of this. So um, let me see what else we have here. Maybe there's something I'm not checking correctly. Oh, let's click refresh. Maybe that might help. Oh, there it is. So I just needed a refresh. Cool. So we just paid to a Raven address and a label. Um, there's this little uh, checkbox send ownership of asset. So the asset transfer contains an ownership. Asset, you will no longer. Oh, okay. So if I wanted to transfer the ownership of this asset, that person will get it. Let's go to managed own assets. Select an asset. Okay, so that is not showing up. Oh, to reissue. So I think I, yeah, I didn't make it reissuable. So maybe that's why it's not able to be managed. In, yeah, I guess so. Re reissue assets. So I'm assuming if I created an uh, asset that was reissuable, then I would have some options here. Anyway, it looks pretty interesting. Um, still very early. I, I know this is all still on the test net. Um, it'd be interesting to see where this goes from here. Um, I still want to do a couple more tests between transactions, but I'm going to have to set up a second test net wallet and go about on um, transferring assets back and forth. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.